Hi everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Weekly Car News. Just to start this episode off I'm just going to talk to you about the Le Mans 24 hour endurance race. Um, now as I'm filming this which is at 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon, the race has just started. Um, I don't know any of the timings or anything at the moment. But yeah, there's been a load of supercars that have gone down there, including quite a lot of P1s. I think four or three, something like that, went down. And now they're down there for the for the race, having it just looking and stuff, yeah. But yeah, seeing as this video goes up midday Saturday, and I'll be finished recording this in about half an hour or so, um, then I won't know who won. So next week, I will show you guys, if you don't already know, the... Uh, the results. Moving on to some more Le Mans news now. Now, as you can see up there, Ford are going to have released that they are going to be re-entering the Le Mans next year with the new Ford GT. Um, looks awesome. Have you seen the rear diffuser? Look, look at that. It's huge. It's massive. This car's literally only just been revealed, so there's no performance stats or anything. So, I guess that'll be in a future video. So, moving on now. Now, as you can see up there, that is a test mule for the new Chiron, which is the replacement of the Veyron. Um, as you can see, it's got some a few touches that are different, such as a bigger exhaust by the looks of it, and also some like vents on the rear quarter or something. Um, only slight differences, but then again, they're probably only just starting testing. Now, it was seen on the Autobahn um, cruising with a, an i8, which is unusual, um, but maybe that's kind of the thing that they have a look at all the stats or something. I don't really know. But um, as you can see, it's obvious that they're obviously working on something, seeing as they've sold out of all the 450 Veyrons or whatever it is. What you can also tell from the photo up there is that it also, it kind of looks like a super sport. So it's almost like that the the entry level Chiron or whatever it's called, uh, is that how you say it? Chiron? Um, is a super sport. So it shows that the, say the, the version of the super sport for the Chiron is obviously going to be mentally quick. Because the, the top of the Veyron was the super sport. And then they seem like they're testing the Chiron with the Super Sport, so that's obviously... I, you get the gist. It's going to be quick, probably. Moving on to some more test mule shots now. Um, as you can see up there, that is the new Rolls-Royce Dawn. Um, it's equivalent of the Wraith, but a convertible version, basically. So the Dawn is apparently going to be producing 624 brake horsepower from a 6.6-litre twin-turbo engine, which is also in the Wraith. So this obviously shows you that it's a pretty much just a reworked version of the Wraith, a convertible version. And finally, the price. Now, knowing Rolls-Royce, they are perfection perfectionists. Um, they do all their work to the highest standards, and so it's therefore 230000 Apparently, that's what was estimated at. But I can kind of see all that, but probably with extras, it's probably about 250 Right, moving on now, as you can see up there, um, these are pictures of a Maserati MC-12 that's caught fire. Um, it happened in Germany and it's been um, modified by Voss cars in Germany. Um, so it, the cause of the fire is unknown as yet, but it could be to do with some sort of modification or just because it has the Enzo engine in and quite a few Enzos have kind of caught fire, kind of. But, um, yeah, it's not very nice. I'll put the, the link to the video down below of the fire happening. So, the Agera RS by Koenigsegg. Um, it was revealed at the Geneva Motor Show in March. And as you can see up there, uh, that was the one that was uh, shown there. And as you can see up there, that is the one that has apparently been delivered, the first one, uh, to somewhere in the United Arab Emirates. Um, it looks like the same one. The bare carbon with the orange bits looks stunning. Um, but the guy that owns that now um, also has a few other cars. Also has a P1, um, a Bagani Huayra, a Bagani Zonda Tricolori, um, and a 918. So, um, yeah, his garage is quite nice. Not jealous at all. Right, so there has been a huge speculation of whether the last Top Gear episode will actually be aired or not. Um, but in the week, I saw something on Facebook, uh, like a teaser video coming from the BBC and Top Gear, um, that they're actually going to do it. Um, now that's a screenshot up there of a part of it. It's just typical Jeremy really. Um, looks hilarious, cannot wait for it to come out. Um, not sure when it will come out, but all we know is it's going to be the last one that they do as part of Top Gear until they move on and uh, apparently do something else, which I'm, I'm not sure on at the moment. But I'm sure we'll know sooner or later because um, they're definitely planning something, I know that. So John Olsen has sadly sold his 1,000 brake horsepower RS6. 
Um, now you probably may have known that uh, he did the Europe leg of the Gumball 3000 this year in the RS6, and um, then he went to the USA and did it in a Mustang, I believe. Um, but we thought that we'd, he'd come back and uh, be reunited with it, but he's been offered enough money f to sell it. And um, according to Mr. Olsen, he said that it's hard to sell such modified cars, such as that, as you can see, DTM. Um, so he took the opportunity, um, but yeah, hopefully he'll be getting something soon. So the car has now been sold and it's in the Netherlands, so if any of you guys watching are from the Netherlands, um, then look out for it, because you might be seeing it. As you can see up there, the owner has actually taken it grocery shopping, so... It's good that they use it, I suppose. This is kind of a bit of a new thing that uh, I'm going to be talking about now. I might start doing more of it depending on how much info comes about comes out about it. Um, but Forza Motorsport 6, um, you can see up here and here, these are some screenshots that have been leaked of it. Um, as you may know, I, I like car games. <laughs> some graphics look awesome, as you can see up there, that is the new Ford GT. Um, that's the cover car for Forza Motorsport 6. Um, I'm guessing it's going to come out on probably only Xbox, because that's where Forza comes out on. Probably not on the 360, seeing as Forza Motorsport 5 didn't. Um, but in general, the game looks stunning. Um, and when I hear more information about it, I'll be putting one in this one of these videos. So I'm just going to briefly talk to you guys about some new Arab arrivals. Um, now this first one I'm going to talk about isn't in London. Uh, it's in Paris at the moment. Um, but reportedly it's going to be coming to London soon. Um, it's a purple McLaren P1 from Oman. Um, it's it's a different spec. Let me know what you think down below. Um, awesome to see it. I will be going up to London soon, um, and more frequently, seeing as I've literally just finished my exams yesterday. No, Friday, because it's Sunday now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I finished all them. So now I've got 13 weeks off. So also that means I'm spending more time on these kind of videos. Also, like I said in the last episode, I will be sorting out lighting because, as I said, I'm using my window. Which isn't very effective, to be honest. Um, seeing as when it's quite cloudy, like now, um, and it like, appears quite shadowy and dark, um, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, other than that, there's not much that are here that's here at the moment. Um, but I would have thought that in weeks to come, there'll be a tsunami of Arabs coming with their nice cars. Um, so that'll be in future videos, I'm sure of it. Um, but one other thing, um, quite a while ago, I think it was about three weeks ago now, um, a Pagani Zonda VR, um, 760 VR, sorry, um, has, well, it was originally a Zonda F Roadster, I believe, um, and now it's been converted into a 760 for the owner, um, looks awesome, as you can see up there, it's been, uh, seen going around London, but currently it's on a Pagani tour going around Europe, um, I suppose that's a good way to... Show off your car, take it for a blast around Europe. Um, I really want to see this. It was supposed to be at Wilton, but he took it down to Italy. Great. So yeah, guys, that is about it for this video. Um, I'm trying to make these videos a bit longer, um, longer as the weeks go on. Um, but this week, there's been there's been some some good news. Hopefully next week there's going to be some more news, so I can make the videos longer. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then please give a like, as it's greatly appreciated and helps me improve. Also, give a comment down below um, of what you think of the video, what you think of the whole series in general, and if there's any ways that I can improve my videos. And also, give a subscribe as um, it helps me grow, and um, good to see the subscribes uh, going up. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll see you in episode 8 next week.